This device, 10.4 10 inch logic panel, okay, LCD display. Okay, this logic panel have touch screen. See my mouse here. This is a touch screen. And this one is actually a three in one device. This one got HMI, PLC function, and also IO function. Okay. And this model can be uh, installed. I mean, you can set up in vertical, uh, vertical motion, vertical touch screen or horizontal touch screen. You actually need to change the orientation on it in the setting. And this resolution is 800 by 480. And the software used for the HMI design is actually at designer software. And for the PLC, we use at logic software. Okay. So that's all first. Okay, next one. Okay, so as I mentioned about the feature, this is actually all in one touch panel, PLC, and PLC HMI, and IO module function. Okay, on my left hand side here. Okay. Okay, so for today presentation, I mean, I mean the device that I'm going to use is actually ten inch. So this ten inch on my right hand side here, this one got thirty two input and thirty two output points and is a MPN. Uh. Remember this, uh. this is an MPN. If you take the 7 inch, the 7 inch is right here on my left side. This is only have 16 contact points, 16 input, 16 output. Okay, so that's all for this feature. Okay, the next one. Okay, so for our LPA 10 inch, uh, I'm still talking about 10 inch. Uh, Okay, we have a various communication protocol. You can communicate using uh, mode bus, RTU, RS485, and also RS232. We also got Ether, Ethernet communication. Okay, so uh, any device that you, let's say, purchase from our Autonic, you like example, TX controller, temperature controller, you can communicate using a RS422 or 485. Or KRM 1000 recorder, you can also communicate to our device using RS422 or 485. Okay. As for the Ethernet, we have the IO remote IO and we also have TMH controller. Right? So this is the I mean the benefit of our, our Autonix product, the 10 inch. Okay. We have a various communication protocol. We got the Mobus RTU, Mobus DCP, and also have device net. Okay, that can be able to communicate with 10 inch model, right? Okay, aside from this uh, feature of communication, our LPA logic panel also have the feature of so called built in motion control and also a high speed counter. If you see on my see on my mouse, okay, so LPA can able to control two exit motor. Okay, this is a motion control to exit motor, and also we got a high speed counter. To count the pulse if you want to use for your pulse like encoder to calculate the pulse or calculate the RPM it's not a problem and just to let everyone know that LPAC have the built-in two axis motor that can control up to 100 kilohertz huh? okay okay so uh, let's proceed okay this is just the summary of the feature okay Okay, we okay in our LPA series we have PLC function, we got HMI function, we got motion control function, we got high speed counter, and then digital I/O, and as well as various communication protocol. Okay, so everyone, I think this one is very clear, straightforward, just the explaining the features. Okay, this is a 10 inch. We got all in one, all in one function. You can install this touch screen in the horizontal or vertical orientation. And then we got 800 by 480 resolution. This is the resolution. Software use is at designer, and the PLC use is uh, at logic. Huh? Okay. So all right, okay. So we done about the introduction of our logic panel. Okay, now let's go to the our main event today: data logging setup and configuration. All right. So for today, for today setup, okay. For today's setup, I'm going to use the ARIO AI analog input. Uh, this is an analog input, four channel thermocouple. Okay. So for today, I'm just going to use one thermocouple only, just for testing for data logging. Okay. Okay. The software used for this, as I mentioned, is called Ad Designer Software. Okay. Let me open the. Software. So this is the HMI software. It's called Ad Designer Software. So to design all this particular uh data logging you need uh, some button for your indication 
This is a login progress indication, start button, login buffer if full, if it's full, it will be indicate and then complete delete indication, delete buffer, backup completed, backup button. Okay, this plus minus is actually the, the, the value in here that I'm going to input into the data logging table. And this is actually the analog analog uh, uh, data from a thermocouple. This is a thermocouple reading, which also going to be implemented in this data logging table. Okay, let's say if you are the first timer, you don't know how to create this data logging. Okay, let's say I delete this. Huh? Okay. okay, to create this data logging, you need to go is here. Huh? This is called logging table, all right? Click this, then you pull, drag and pull as much as you can. Okay, then after that, you need to set your data logging, all right? These are the data logging setting. You can set your format, number of rows. Let's say you don't want 10 rows, you want five rows, also can. It's up to you. Number of column, okay? And then direction of your data, data uh, flow. You want from new to old or old to new, okay? But for now, this one, we just leave it default. Huh? right and then of course we got a header this header you can rename it okay you want to rename it to number date or you want to put your own you want to put your own uh title name not necessary value one you want to put here thermocouple channel one or maybe you want to put analog input channel one also can depend to the user okay so this is same thing how many data you want to put in this table is up to you but for today, I'm going to input two data only. This third data is no no use. Uh. It's going to be removed later. And then of course we got display format. Okay, these are the display format. Okay, so uh let's uh okay, so wait, let me undo the delay. Okay, so let you see, let you all see what the setting that I've done. Uh. Okay, as mentioned for the format part, okay. So for today I'm I'm going to show two data reading. So I'm going number of column, I'm going to use four only. I'm not going to use five. Okay. And my direction of the flow is O to new. All right. The rest of the following, what color and thickness that one, we just leave it as default. Okay. Okay, row header, there is the number. This is the date. This value, I'm going to change it to channel one so that you all know what are the reading from a thermocouple. And this is just the value because this is an integer value that I'm going to input later by using a button. Okay, for display format, okay, since this is the integer, okay, word, lah, this is a word, so my index starting is 1, and then after the next index starting will be the 2, alright? The rest of this, you just leave it default. Number of count, you can adjust yourself. For me, I just need 5. Number of digit decimal, need 1 only. That's all. Once you've done this setting, you click OK. Okay, second, second step. You need to go actually the logging. You need to you you always need to uh, create the logging uh, the logging system right here. So how to create this? You need to do is double click this. Okay. Okay. For me, I have created this uh, This is the I created. So I want to start logging table address is U W one hundred. Okay. It's a U W one hundred. Logging number. Okay. This one is is a uh, the defined number logging file. So for me, I just need one only. I don't need so many. You can create up to two, it's up to you. Number of device, six. Uh, the device size is 16 bit only. I only need one word. I don't need to use double word. I don't need uh, the data reading to be float. Okay. So after that, the condition set, cycle. Okay, this is a setting for the memory. Okay, M01. This is a positive H. This is a pulse up, pulse up. okay. So the repeat cycle is one second. Uh. I put every one second, the, the data will be accumulated every one second. And the repeat count is maximum 50. Means, let's say if you click this button, this is the assign button, you start already, then the data will, will accumulate every one second up to 50 count. After 50 count, then the data login will stop. But you can also continue by clicking the, clicking the button start again, and you will accumulate until to got some internet problem oh uh, okay one moment huh? anyone got internet problem just like no problem huh? uh, okay so i think miss uh, so far okay huh? so i think uh, Lily, i think you need to check your internet huh? okay let's continue okay once you've done this conditional set setting huh? 
we go to control we do clarity blur is it i set to highest resolution is it blurry no one huh? yeah, i think a lot better lah. don't don't put the motion first okay so this the condition set as i mentioned huh? as i mentioned okay this one setting this is actually the device setting device cycle device repeat age is a pulse up oh looks like we got a question oh no no okay this is a okay device okay this is a pulse up this is repeat count repeat count is that mean one time you press the button to uh, data lock it will go until to 50 okay this is every one second uh, settings every one second okay so i think that's all okay let's go for the next one control okay these are the control is the one that i mentioned in the previous the uh, hmi page uh, is the one for your logging progress if you want to display your indication you can assign your address here memory two and then logging start stop memory three and then delete buffer memory four complete delete buffer this uh, display device memory five and the lastly is when the logging buffer is full so these are the place that you can assign your address to show your indication and also as you want to uh, start stop your data logging okay and of course we got a backup okay this one backup i already said auto backup when using all the workspace backup start by using a m7 and a m8 that one is a memory address huh? okay this one we just leave it default okay and then after you've done all this setting you click OK. Okay. Okay, for me, I already set, so I don't have to uh, click OK again. Okay, so these are the these are the table that you have set for your logging table one. You can always check what is the condition type, start condition, repeat count, repeat cycle, device address. This is the most important you have to remember. Number of device six, and of course, description you put as your own reminder. Okay, once you, you've done all this uh, logging setup, okay, let's say if you're done already, you have your address, so you make sure you remember, then you put inside your uh, animation, okay, like this indicator is M2, okay, M2 for logging process, start, stop, you use the M1, okay, this is a momentary, this is a bit, okay, okay and then follow by the rest of the button you just need to do is write down the address and don't forget to add, don't forget the address and after that you input inside here okay okay so since uh okay so about the logging setup okay before i show the radio anyone got question about data logging setup no uh, anyone got question Okay, so I think for now, no question first. Okay, never mind. Let's proceed with the radio. I show you the radio. Okay, these are the radio. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is the HMI data logging. Uh, before I start the data logging, let's review the LED status and the buttons. Okay, this is a logging progress LED. Whenever the logging progress is on, the LED will on. It will be in green color. This is a start button. So if I want to start logging the data, I need to click this start button. All the data will be reviewed in this table. Logging buffer is full. When it's full, the LED will on. Completed delete buffer. When the buffer is completed, deleted, then the LED will on. Okay, so this is a delete buffer button. You can also delete manually. This is a backup button. You also can manually backup the uh, log file. Okay, this when it's completed backup, the LED will on. Okay, so this is a analog input four channel thermocouple. So I'll be taking reading in channel one only. Eh? Currently, the temperature reading is 28.1. Okay, let's increase the temperature. Okay, as you can see, the temperature increases. I'm using my fingertip. Ah. I'm using my fingertip. Okay, so the temperature is increased up to 30 something. Okay, this one is actually an uh, input value. Okay, this input value purpose is to give a value in the table. 
So this is uh, just for testing only. Okay, let's say if I input some value. Okay, you can also decrease it, but this value input is just for testing purpose only. Okay. Okay, uh, all the LED and the button has been reviewed. Okay, let's take a look at the data management. Okay, as you can see in the data management day, there is no log file because I haven't created and I haven't started it. Okay, so now let's begin. Okay, once I click this start, the LED here will on. Okay, as you can see, the data is now recording every second. Okay, now the temperature is 28.4 and the input value is 700. Okay, let's increase some input value. Okay, I increase to 1000. Uh. Okay, the temperature, let's uh, play with the temperature. Increase some temperature, maybe 30, up to 30. Okay, as you can see, the temperature reading and the input value also is recorded. Okay, now let's wait the data record until 50. Okay, uh, not necessarily the data need to be record until 50. You can also go more. It depends to end user. You want to record up to 100 or maybe more. It depends to them. Okay, so the data uh, already record until to 50 already. Yeah? Okay, so it stops here. So when you stop the login progress also, the LED will off. Okay, once it's done, Go to the data management again. Okay, can you see? There's the log file. Okay, when you go inside the log file, when you further go in, there is a uh, text file in here. So this is in the text format. So in this text file, you can copy and save in your pen drive, and then you can open in your computer. Thank you. Okay. Okay where I start just now okay so the radio as mentioned as I mentioned when you when you can take your USB thumb drive you connect to your HMI at the back okay then after that you can transfer data then after that you can open in your computer so okay this is the sample as you can see in this uh, slide this is a sample of the data recorded all right there is a date there is a date time and data one until six okay these are the settings from uh, ad designer software okay so uh, for this, okay, uh, let me uh, 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 point out about this first. Huh? Okay, so for currently our data login file, when we save our data, is uh, float data is uh, not supported at the moment. Huh? So whenever you get your decimal point at your login table, let's say 28 is one. Huh? Okay, 28.3. Huh? So in your data format, I mean in the log file that save, text format will become 283. Okay. And this, of course, this is a input value 700, 800 to 1000.